In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to host your backend on Hostinger. Hosting your backend effectively is crucial to ensure that your application is accessible, secure, and scalable. With Hostinger, you have an affordable and reliable option that provides a range of useful features for this purpose. Let's begin by considering why you would choose Hostinger in the first place. Hostinger offers various hosting options, but the recommendation here is to use VPS hosting for backend servers. This not only gives you more control over your server environment but also allows for better performance and flexibility compared to shared hosting. To get started, you'll first need to sign up for a Hostinger account if you don't have one already. Simply visit their website and choose the VPS hosting plan that best suits your needs, considering factors like bandwidth requirements and expected traffic. Once you've made your choice, you can proceed to make the purchase and set up your account. After setting up your account and logging into the Hostinger dashboard, you'll see the option to create a new VPS server. Here, select the server location that's geographically closest to your user base to reduce latency. Once your VPS is set up, Hostinger will provide you with the necessary details like the IP address, SSH port, and root password. Before you dive into deploying your backend, you need to prepare your server. Start by connecting to your server using an SSH client. If you're on Windows, programs like PuTTY are quite popular. For macOS and Linux users, you can use the terminal. Use the provided IP address, SSH port, and your root password to establish a connection. Once logged in, for security, you should update the existing packages by running the appropriate update command for your server's operating system. Next, you'll need to install the required software to run your backend. Be sure to install a Node version manager if you're working with a Node.js application or any other language runtime like Python, PHP, or Java as per your needs. Hostinger allows the flexibility to work with multiple development environments, so feel free to install any additional components your backend might require. With the environment ready, it's time to transfer your code base to the server. Use SFTP, RSYNC, or SCP to securely upload your files. Once uploaded, navigate to your project directory using the terminal. Now comes the part where you actually run your backend. If you're using Node.js, use a process manager like PM2 for stability and monitoring. This will ensure that your application restarts automatically if it crashes. For other environments, make sure to use proper deployment scripts or software that fits your technology stack. Finally, configure your domain's DNS settings to point to your new VPS. This typically includes setting the A record to your server's IP address. After this propagates, you should be able to access your backend via your domain. And there you have it. Your backend is now hosted on Hostinger. Remember, continual monitoring and maintenance of your server is important to ensure optimal performance and security. Thanks for watching, and happy hosting!